Here we are, back again for another live edition of the stretcher, the cervical region part two. So if you recall, last time we uh, partaked or partook, whichever word you wanna kinda use um, for this class in a live session, we worked on the cervical region because I'm actually in my vehicle and in order to be able to provide an exercise routine for you in this position, really the only thing that is available is to do either the hands and work on that dexterity or to work on the cervical part of the neck, which in return takes the tension away from those shoulders, the rotator cuff, and what better place to do it than in the vehicle because typically we're driving like this, remember, or we're texting, or we have our head down, or we're tapping um, the music on the screen. We're changing different things. We have the seatbelt on. We're leaning one side or one side to the other. So we want to really just focus on trying to relieve some of that tension and take away some of that discomfort that we get on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or a monthly basis or maybe on a yearly basis or through that journey of life because of the overuse or the weakness of those neck muscles based upon our posture and those mechanics that come with it. So um, before we get started, again, I am Jesse Sawyer, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, silver sneaker flex instructor, and you can find out more about me by visiting my website at www.jessieswoyer.com. Calm. Now, this is the stretcher cervical part two. We're trying to get it in. We're going to add a new exercise today, and it's going to be some protraction and retraction of that neck and that jaw. And um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate those exercises. I'm going to demonstrate some extension of the neck, some flexion of the neck. We're going to do some cervical rotations. We're going to do some cervical side bends as well. Unlike hitting the core, we're going to work on hitting the neck region as we do these exercises. So um, hope you enjoy it. And you know, without further ado, you know who's back, the style and profile, and we on deal and shaking, baking, moving and grooving. There's no camouflage. Um, Glass stunt and wearing, that's it, my friends. High flying, uh, not a limousine riding, an Audi riding. Um, Silver Sneaker Flex Instructor bringing you um, this virtually guided exercise routine for the neck and the discomfort that comes with that over time when we overutilize that neck region. So a few things, if you have any lightheadedness, dizziness, fatigue, pain, or discomfort, hit the pause button, come back a little bit later. You have access to this all throughout the day, through the next day. If you need this, just do a warm up before you get exercising. If you get up in the morning, if you have some stiffness, if you have some time like I do right now to record something, um, just kick this on fast forward a little bit and get to those exercise routines. The other thing we need to go over is we have a virtual liability. So if you should consult your physician before engaging in any physical activity program by participating in this online exercise with me, you assume all dangerous hazards risks of that such participation. The exercise is demonstrated by the instructor on this online class can be demanding. If unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them or choose a different set of exercises. Number two, I can't see you even with my glasses. I can't hear you. So please pay attention to that form, pay attention to the mechanics if you're at home in that seat, you want to sit up on the edge of the chair. If you're standing or if you're in your car and taking this, you kind of want to sit up as best you can in that seated position. Uh, I know like I'm kind of on a hill, so I'm already on that slant and that angle. So if you notice that, it's because of how I parked. So I do apologize for that. But you want to make sure that you have the best posture as possible as we work on your right side and your left side throughout. And the other thing you want to do as well is you want to tuck the belly, tuck the tailbone. You want that chest out, shoulders up, back and down, ears over the shoulders, and plant those feet as well so you have a good center of gravity so that you can shift your weight. Not that we're going to be shifting anything today, but you want to still maintain that center of gravity so that you get that nice, good extension, elongation, and the proper mechanics of not only the back and the spine and the spina recta, but of that cervical region that we're going to really focus on today. And then the other thing is you want to create that healthy energy. Um, if you need some music, turn it on. I don't have any playing right now. And then 
continue to improve each and every week. Continue to come back and take the stretcher and work on different aspects to relieve some discomfort and pain that you might be experiencing on a regular basis. The other thing is with three, you want to breathe, inhale, exhale throughout. Number four, pay attention to the rate of perceived exertion is a one through three scale. So I don't think you're going to have too much difficulty with these exercises. They're just the neck. So you want to pay attention to any sharp pain, any discomfort, any lightheadedness, um, and then any uh, nauseousness as well as you do these exercises. And then we wanna get to um, really uh, the five, hydrate, hydrate. I got my coffee, I got my water jug, and um, we're gonna get started, we're gonna get moving. So um, if you recall last time we did this in the cervical aspect of the part, we did really the, the neck flexion and then we did the extension of the neck, okay? So the flexion is going to just be kind of going down, straight down with that neck and I'm trying to keep it right order. There you go. Again, my camera's on an angle. So you're going to just flex the chin down to the chest in that upright position. And then you're just going to come back to that neutral position. So again, you're just flexing. So what you're doing is you're stretching the back right here um, of the cervical region. And then you're just going to go back to that neutral position. So it's a straight down neck flexion. And then back on up. And then straight on down. And then back on up. And we're doing a little more active today. Uh, last week, we might have thrown some static in there. A static stretch would look more like this. You're kind of going down. And you're kind of just holding it there. But again, you don't want the head below the heart. So hopefully nobody is trying to overextend or overflex. Um, what I say, so this would be your flexion, and then you're just coming back up to that neutral position. So again, we're flexing the neck down, chin to chest, and then back up. Flex again one more time. Hold it in the static state this time. So remember that static is anywhere up to 20 seconds, past that 20 seconds, as we're kind of just holding that neck in that position. And we're just really trying to stretch the, the neck region, the, these muscles that run up through the neck, um, that get overutilized, that upper trap is getting a little stretched as well. And you still wanna breathe through that position, but you wanna maintain good posture, tucking the belly, tucking the tailbone as we lift up. So that was your flexion aspect. Now we wanna go to more of that extension aspect of the chin and the neck. So we're going to be straight forward again, nice and upright, um, and if you don't know, it's kind of snowing out here, um, but it, it's, it's not cold enough for the snow. So hopefully this is warming you up as well. And you're just taking the neck back and then bringing it back down and then back again and then back again. Now to make it funny, hopefully, um, I clean my nose out good enough and you're not seeing anything stuck up in there. I don't have any type of fungus. I don't have any um, infection right now as well. Hopefully, um, I got those nose hairs out of the way too. So hopefully you're not seeing any of that and I keep my mouth shut so you don't see the penis I just got done eating as well. So again, you wanna try to breathe through the mouth or the nose. And again, you're staying in that neutral position and you're going back up. Now remember, you can see me, I can't see you. So um, if you got those nose hairs, if you got that infection in the mouth or the nose, I'm not seeing it. You might see mine though. So please don't make me aware though. Um, hopefully you're not and you're just able to get through this motion like this going all the way back. Luckily for me, I do have a headrest behind me. So it's actually stopping me. So if anybody has done CPR, if they learned CPR, if they taught CPR um, for males, typically above or females above the age of 12, uh, you have to really tilt that head back to open that airway up. So we're really tilting back to get that airway up and open because our esophagus are fully developed. So unlike a child, you don't go back as far because you'll cut off the airway. So uh, you can take the neck back pretty far in this position for that extension. And then you just come forward to that neutral position. And then you're just taking it back again as far as you can. Where it's comfortable, where you're actually feeling the change of your voice, which you could probably hear my change of that voice. So can there be too far back? Not necessarily. It just depends 
on the range of motion that you have in those vertebrae. You know, they're all either a one through seven or a one through eight. It just depends on what book you read, um, your thoracic spine. has 12, your lower lumbar has 5, your sacral has another 5, and your cosangenic has a, another 5. So it kind of just depends. So typically a 1 through 7 or 1 through 8 depends on um, where you're starting off in that cervical region. And then back again. Nice, good extension. And don't forget to add the breath throughout. Now, if you want to get some hydration, grab that hydration. Pay attention to that rate of perceived exertion. We're now going to duplicate those other exercises we did last week as well, which we're going to do that cervical rotation. We're going to go to that right side. So we're going to be turning all the way over and then coming back to the front. So a nice inhalation here would be great. And again, we're going active. And as you're turning that head, you're just really trying to take it a little farther each and every time. Tucking the belly, tucking the tailbone, trying to look over your shoulder and then come back to that front. Nice inhalation here. And you should be able to go a little farther each and every time you do this. Relieving any discomfort, any neck pain, any overuse. And if you're like me, sometimes when you do some overusing, or you're trying to do chest presses, or you're doing shoulder presses, or you're doing biceps, you engage the trap just a little bit more, this high part of the trap, and what occurs is it gets tight, and it gets tense, and it balls up, that muscle balls up, and it gets really tight, and what it does, it pulls on the neck, so when you try to turn, that's how you get a stiff neck. A lot of times, it's from the trap, and the overuse of the trap, or even possibly the underdevelopment of the trap, and because it's underdeveloped and you utilize the trap more than you think you do, or when you're resting your head at night on your pillow, you might have to change your angles because of the weakness in the neck, because it is undeveloped or you haven't been utilizing it the way you should be. That's typically why you have to change positions on the neck uh, or with those pillows. So what you wanna do is you wanna strengthen it up. If you strengthen it up, you won't have those difficulties as well. So we're gonna do that one more time through that right side and then come forward to the front and then we're gonna to go to that left side. Nice inhalation here. And then breathe it out. So hopefully you can see the snow as well. I mean, it's not laying here, um, but I am staying warm as I'm staying inside. And turn that neck. And you can let me know which side is better the side, the left side or the right side of my face. Hopefully, I mean, it is shaved today, so you're going to see a little gray. Uh, it looks like a little snow, so I can just say that, hey, I was outside as I was doing this exercise routine. Back to that front. Nice inhalation again. And again, we're going a little more active. We're not really holding this in this static position. We're kind of just trying to look over that shoulder. And we want to stretch out both sides of the neck. And I know some of you might have some limitations. You might have, have some range of motion difficulties. You might have some paralysis on one side or the other. So you want to really just try to work both sides as best as possible. And remember, it is just the neck turning. It is not your torso. It is not the thoracic spine. It is just the cervical region that is turning. And that shoulder region really gives you 
stability. It doesn't necessarily give you mobility. It is the thoracic spine, as I do one more through, that gives you the mobility aspect. And as you start going up a little higher into the neck region, you get more of the stability. So although this is mobile, it's really giving you stability through the back. So you want to maintain strength through that neck. The next one we're going to work on is the side bend, and then we're going to do a little protraction, retraction of the neck, and then I'm out. All right, so the side bend is just taking the right ear and trying to touch that right shoulder and then back up to the neutral position. So again, I am in my vehicle. I am in a slant in my vehicle because I am not on a flat surface. This is the only area that I could grab this morning. And you're just kind of resting it down and you're doing them active. Now remember that static stretch would be bend down, take that neck and that ear towards the right shoulder and then you're kind of just holding it. And I know I'm closing my eyes. You don't have to close your eyes. You can keep your eyes open if you want. Keep them wide open. You can open your mouth up too. You can be a little scary or you can just come back up to the front like this. Again, it's for the neck, it's for posture, it's for mechanics, it's for elongation, and it's for you to reduce and relieve any type of tone or tension or toxicity or discomfort or pain or even fatigue in the neck region as I bring the head back up and now I'm going to go take my left ear to my left shoulder. And I'm going to do the same thing and just drop down and get a nice stretch. I'm going to be a little active first. And then I'm coming back up. And then I'm taking that ear again. Nice stretch. I really feel the right side stretching out. And then I come back up. So you're kind of really strengthening um, your left side. And then you're stretching out the right side and vice versa. So when you go to the right side, you're strengthening your right side and then you are stretching out the left side. So right now that right side is really becoming stretched, although you're taking your left ear to the left shoulder. And not that you can touch it because I can't because I can feel the stretch and I can feel the discomfort, but I also feel my trap really stretching right through here. I mean, this is the area right here, my trap as you can see right here, that's the area that's really getting the stretch. And um, I recently uh, was doing some exercising on an incline and I accidentally, or what I say, um, I kind of little did a little overuse and I was engaging my trap a little bit too much to try to get the weight up and through. And then my neck was sore for a few days. So now I'm gonna hold it one more time so I can really feel the discomfort there yet and it's not a discomfort that doesn't allow me to continue with this stretch it's just a discomfort that's letting me know that hey there is something that's not still correct in that neck region and you might feel that as well where when I was doing the opposite side when I was going to my right and from left I wasn't feeling the left trap as much as I am feeling that right trap so it's an area that I need to be aware of it's an area that you might need to be aware of at home as well as you're doing these exercises so the last one we're gonna do and then we're getting out of here is as I find my camera, we're going to do protraction and retraction of the neck. So you're gonna look like a duck, you're gonna look like a chicken, and you're just going to take the chin forward like that, and then you're gonna pull back. Forward, and then back. You see kind of what I'm doing? You can put your hands in front of you like this, and then pull back. And as I come to those fingers, my chin hits them, and then I pull back. So you're protracting right here, you're going forward, and then you're retracting. So again, another great way to really just strengthen up that neck. Not only do you strengthen up the neck, but you're probably really also engaging those shoulders and those traps, which I know you are, but you're also Strengthen up that jaw region. And you're improving your mobility. And I'm just having that hand up there so you have like a a place to hit in front of you so you know if you're coming forward and then going back. Clearly you can see my head coming forward and then you can see going back. 
but I don't want you to go too far forward where you're stretching it too far. So use those fingers and then just continue to get them a little farther out in front of you each and every time. And if you were doing the side version of it, it would look like this. So you can actually see what it looks like from a different angle. Although I can't really turn my body the whole way, so I was hopefully turning my neck. So that's where those other exercises come in handy when you're doing the cervical rotation, the cervical side bends, the flexion, and the extension as well. And then we're adding that protraction and retraction to the end of this cervical addition. So this was cervical two. And peace, you know what that means. I'm out, my time is up, and I'm always humble and thankful for yours, May. From the window to this window, from the snow up here, and I don't know why that's closed, but that's closed. Um, so we'll have to open that next time so you can see the snow coming down. Um, my time is up. Peace, my friends. Go in peace, have a great day, and I will see you next time as May will pick a different destination.